I'm uh, keep having errors. I think weekly pink screen of death with ESXi and this Minis Forum MS01 and Probably this will be the last thing I will do because otherwise I will have to choose something else. ESXi is not reliable on this machine, most probably because of the CPU. Even with efficient cores disabled and some settings which must be done in ESXi, I still have PSOD almost weekly. Two things I will not disable. VTD and VMX technology. If I disable these ones, I will not be able to properly use ESXi. So if I will be somehow forced to disable these ones, it doesn't make sense to continue. I'll keep hyper-trading enabled because otherwise I will have this powerful CPU for nothing. So at least hyper-trading should be enabled. Boot performance or non-turbo. I will disable speed step speed shift, race to halt, C state. I will keep all active performance cores and how it was before disable efficient cores. I will not edit power settings for now. These are the default ones. Okay, I will reboot and see what happens. My persistence paid off because I have 36.34 days uptime without any crash. So the latest modifications on this small computer looks like they are very good. You would say that disabling some features, I do not benefit fully of this CPU. However, I did not see any degradation in performance from what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I will have to move it to the server rack there and cut this beautiful uptime short. Yeah, I've heard better news about Proxmox. It doesn't crash so often. However, I think these modifications should have benefits also for Proxmox in case you are, you are having some crashes. I will not modify anything for now. We'll see what happens next. I did not even have time to dust it. Very busy this period. I have also this keyboard. I haven't got time to release the video for you. If you are not a subscriber, do not hesitate to do so. I have a lot of interesting stuff to show you. Getting back to this small PC, my next episode will probably be what I'm doing with it. I haven't released yet the video about it, compatibilities and everything. It's in preparation, so yet another reason to subscribe. Okay, so enough with that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will be successful in what you want to do with this one. And see you in the next one.